Hey guys, this is Aleš. Welcome to my design tutorial video. Today we are going to talk about naming our boards and I'm going to show you my approach and how I prevent messing up my source files, especially when I work on a huge project. So I'm going to jump into Sketch and show you a couple of examples. Um, this is Bazel, which is an app we designed and developed with uh, STRV some time ago. And this is how some of your projects can look like as well. If you have uh, up to 8 screens, you can just name them from 1 to 8. But what if I want to add a new screen over there? So I'm just gonna move this really quickly and uh, duplicate this one. And you can see it already messed up my naming structure because now I have to rename all these three screens. And it's quite not good at all because like renaming my screens every time I add a new one, it's quite pain in the ass, right? So what I did some time ago was to have uh, one extra number in my naming structure and I'm using the first number for like a section number or a user flow number. So I have like one for welcome screen and onboarding, number two for sign up, number three is for, uh, for some core functionality, number four is for payments and so on. And now it's quite easy for me to add a new screen. So let's say I want to uh, create a new one over there. So I'm just gonna move that and uh, duplicate this one. And I'll probably have to rename those two screens, but uh, the rest of the screens can remain the same because they will not be affected by this uh, by these changes. Uh, it's quite good, but uh, still not perfect. So what I'm using right now is to have three numbers in my naming structure. And uh, I'm using the first one for a user flow or section, as I mentioned. Then the second one for, uh, for like a unique screen name. And the last one is something I use for like a screen states or uh, like some layer or, or layout adjustments of the original screen. So if I show you uh, Bazel again, uh, I'm using the free level naming uh, you can see on the left side. And now if I want to add a new screen over here, I can just uh, move this really quickly and uh, duplicate the screen. And I can just rename its name to number three and move it in my, in my structure. And now you can see it will not affect the rest of the screens because uh, they are starting with a different number. And uh, this is what I use for like the biggest, the biggest source files. And I have a nice example I can show you uh, right here. Um, this is an app called uh, Flip that we designed and developed with STR as well. And it has almost like 100 and 120 screens or something like that. And I'm using this free level naming structure as well. And uh, every time I just want to edit something or remove, I can just go into any of those screens uh, and uh, do the changes, but it will not affect the rest of the source files. So this is my technique. Hope you guys like it and uh, see you next time.